<clears throat> All right, um, this is going to be the first video of my collection here. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Um, and by that I mean I've gotten asked twice. But that's a lot of questions for me um, about my my X pattern controls for World of Warcraft. Um, most of my inspiration honestly came from Final Fantasy XIV. I played that game for a while and I loved it. Um, it's the first MMO I've played in a really, really long time that really grabbed my attention. Uh, this is my, I don't know, my fourth attempt to play uh, World of Warcraft, maybe my third. Um, and right now I'm having a lot more fun than I normally do. I just, I'm one of the types of players who just really prefers playing on uh, the gamepad versus uh, the keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse to me is very immersion breaking. It's uh, just a bit too scattered for me. Um, but, <clears throat> basically, um, I, I did the same thing that um, World of Warcraft, I mean, uh, Final Fantasy did. Um, I switched around the controls a bit. I split them up between the left trigger and the right trigger. Um, just to make it easier for me to, to see, because it's the system I'm used to. Um, I added in a couple of extra buttons, but for the most part, it's exactly the same setup, where you have the D-pad controls on one side, and the X, Y, A, B controls on another, and then you have two bumper assignments. Um, right now, I'm controlling the mouse with my gamepad. Uh, for the duration of this video, aside from any chatting you might see, um, I'm not going to be taking my hand off of the controller. But basically how this works is when I hold down the right trigger, this side, right here, opens up for me to use. Um, I have them assigned to their appropriate buttons. As you can see right here, these are my keypad assignments. I have one, two, three, four, etc., etc., And a couple of custom bindings here. I like using control as a modifier versus uh, alt or any other modifier, really. Um, but it doesn't really matter to me because I don't actually press those buttons. They're assigned to my individual keypads. Anyway. Um, so, to me, I, I reorganized my UI, I cleaned it up a lot, as you can see. I have a lot of mods right now, or add-ons that uh, adjust how my, my setup looks. I like a cleaner look. I don't like it too cluttered. Um, this is nice and simple, it keeps everything I need. Uh, hey. I'll actually click that guy to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like when an enemy is, or whatever I'm targeting, is visible. I kind of line them up as best as I could. Um, this one's actually a little too far. Um, I still have tweaking to go, but I'm learning as I play, which is nice. <coughs> um, I'll list some of the add-ons I use, because um, I can't quite remember offhand all of the add-ons I use. Um, Bagnon is a huge lifesaver, um, but the main one that you're looking at here is... I believe it's actually called something else. I need to take my... There we go. Shadow UF. Um, SUF for short. This is the one that allowed me to, to move everything over. However, for some reason, a lot of the options are hidden, which is actually kind of worrisome. So I'll have to fix that at a later day. But um, basically what these are... Here, I'm going to actually... It's the... Uh, four separate um, UI bars, um, and I condensed them down to nine cells, and it's three by three, and I reorganized this. This is, uh, this is number one, I believe. This is the one you start off with in the beginning of the game, which is usually right down here. Um, I actually believe this is extra bar one, then this is um, bar number two, and then this is extra bar two. Um, I only know them by how they're listed in Shadow Frames or uh, Shadow UF, but I'm probably wrong on the names anyway. Um, I'm right-handed, so predominantly I use the right-hand side. These are my priority abilities on the right-hand side here. So I have my main ra rotation right here in the keypad on the uh, X, Y, A, B, so it's easier for me to hit. Um, Skull Bash, my interrupt defensive abilities that I want to keep up most of the time, my taunt, and then over here is a bunch of situational stuff, um, things I don't really need to worry about too often, 
Um, also, stuff that I don't, I don't know how to use that well yet, because I'm still learning my rotation. I've never been this high level before. Um, it, it's not foolproof. The Xpatter program still needs a little bit of uh, a little bit of work, um, but it, it works. It's not bad. Um, usually, what combat looks like for me. It's really simple. It's fun. Gets the job done. Um, I have my user interface set up so I can always keep my eye out on everything I need to. Everything down in this little box here. Um, all this crap is just random, random shit, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so that's basically what combat looks like. It's it's just a lot simpler for me, and it, it feels more like I'm involved in the world versus hitting one through zero and whatever other hot bars or support you have. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, on my first recording, that was embarrassing. But as you can see, I can do everything um, pretty fast. Uh, I'm getting used to tap targeting. Um... It's not something I'm used to yet. Um, my tab target is A. Uh, I'll, I'll go through another video and show you my full setup. Um, but this is this is the gist of it. Where's the big mama over here? You elite. Maybe I can show you guys some good combat. Venom shade. I don't know. I got my ass handed to me the last giant hippo I fought. I just keep showing you a bunch of little chumps over here. Um, one of the biggest problems with X Pattern is uh, actually switching your modifiers. Um, so, for instance, if I went from the the right trigger to the left trigger, um, sometimes it has a tendency to get stuck. So it'll it'll stay modifying this. Um, they're only supposed to be active for as long as I'm depressing the button they're assigned to. So. To activate these, I hold down the right trigger. Total, or to activate these, it's left trigger. Um, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to talk, you guys are rude. Um, <clears throat> but sometimes, for some reason, it just it just gets stuck. Um, I don't know if it's something I did or if it's just X pattern in general. Um, it appears it's it's mostly X pattern. Um, I've never used. Uh, what is it called? Switchblade, I think, and there's another one out there, which I don't remember the name name of. I, I've never used either of them, so I don't... I wouldn't even know where to begin talking about those. Um, but basically, the only solution I've I've found on the internet was uh, to set up a, kind of an escape key in all of your setups. So if it does get stuck in there, you just hit that button, and it automatically throws you back to your first tab. Um, and all of that will make a lot more sense when I actually show you the program itself. Uh, fucking sleep. I'm so tired. I'm a narcoleptic bear. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I made another video not too long ago, uh, about 20 minutes ago maybe, of the mouse controls. Um, but that's it. That's how it works. Alright, I will make another video soon. Uh, showing off the incredible, ah, incredible, um, setup. Um, alright. Thanks for listening.